Imagine if Paul types cookies into Google. Is he looking for a recipe? Is he just peckish and wants a midday snack? Or is he trying to learn about cookies stored in their browser? As you can imagine, it's not always easy to determine what people want from a search. In order to conduct effective keyword research, you need to know what your potential customers are looking for when they open a Google search window. We're here to help you better understand the role of search intent and ranking and how you can use it to craft the perfect sales content. Search engines understand this too, and that's why they constantly tweak their algorithms to make sure they're delivering accurate results. Here are the three basic categories of search intent. The first is informational intent. This is when someone wants to learn about a topic. If someone searches how to ride a bike, it's because they're looking for a guide. The search algorithm will ensure the user gets how-to articles and videos about how to ride a bike. Another type is commercial or transaction intent. Users are looking to buy something or compare product prices. Google can tell that someone who searches for buy blue Trek bike is likely to purchase one, so they'll display product pages. The final example of search intent is navigational intent. In this case, users want to access a specific website or destination. They may type eBay login to find the page that will let them log into their account. It's not enough to simply include keywords on the website. You also need to ensure that your content reflects their search intent. This is one of the biggest mistakes we see in businesses trying to rank. Google also changes search results for a keyword based on what they think the search intent is. Here's an example. Years ago, if someone searched for health supplements, Google would set the search intent as transactional. As a result, their product pages would appear in the results. Later, the algorithm shifted and the search intent changed to informational. Now Google users would receive articles about the best health supplements. It was no longer as easy to rank product pages. For this reason, we recommend that businesses create long-form content about their products or services because it's more likely to rank than product pages. Here's an easy way to understand the search intent of a keyword. This may sound too simple, but try Googling the keyword and see what comes up. You can tell right away if it's informational, commercial, or navigational. For example, if you search for email marketing software and see articles listed about the best software packages, then it's clear the intent is informational. You'll want to create informational content to get ranked. Now that you know how to figure out search intent, you'll also want to know how many people are actually searching for your keywords. Make sure to explore some of the other modules in the Hawk Learning Hub to become an expert in SEO. If you have any questions about how to accurately determine search intent, book a free strategy session with the Hawk team by clicking the link below.